What is it like to be a lens creator for 30 days? Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Carl Lightning and I'm going to be doing a small documentary on what it's like to be a lens creator in the lens community, learning everything that I needed to know to get started. Now to become a lens creator, it takes absolutely nothing. You do need some artistic skills and a computer, but in terms of coming up with the ideas for lenses, they are limitless. You can come up with literally anything your heart desires and your skills allow you to create. Now in terms of making Snapchat lenses, it's really simple. Going onto Snapchat's website, you'll find something called the Lens Studio software, and this is free to download to make Snapchat lenses, and this is where your journey begins. Now my Snapchat lens journey started with my colour lenses and what these did was focus on one colour specifically, so Keep Red, the lens, only showed you the colour red in the Snapchat camera. Keep Green obviously kept the green colours and I made them pretty much for all the hue spectrum. Now I had this inspiration because as a child I used to love using Photoshop and Premiere Pro to take away colours away from videos to give it a bit more depth. Now once I got the effect inside Lens Studio, I was ready to publish it and have my first lens. And once I did this, I shared it with all my friends because I knew that I would enjoy it and so would they. And they did. The colour lens went off a treat because it does emphasise things in shots. If you've got someone in a red coat and you only want to show that, you can use the keep red. Or maybe at the beach and you want to show off the sea, you can do the keep blue to keep the blue in. After I completed a few lenses, this is when I started getting some feedback and even some requests for some other lenses. And the feeling of success once you've created something, shared it around in the world and seeing everyone else using your lens in a really fun way is a really nice feeling and this is what you can get hooked on as a lens creator because you love to create things and share them around with other people to see their experiences with it. And that's what happened with me. I started creating loads and loads of Snapchat lenses just to get some feedback and see what my friends would do with the Snapchat lenses. And before I knew it, I had a profile full of Snapchat lenses, all unique to each other. And here's a showcase of what I made in the first 30 days. <laughs> So those are all the lenses that I made in the first 30 days of being a lens creator. They can be categorised into what types of lenses. The four I specialised in the first 30 days, one of the lens styles I started off with was a 2D lens and this allows me to put an image over the top of the camera so you could become whatever's on screen. We've got some basic scripting that allow you to play around with the camera and do some cool effects like the freeze frame. We also have some face masks and inserts that allow you to insert your face on an image or inside an image just like my tank engine lens. And dynamic text was a good one. I like playing around with these, implementing your name, where you are and the time and date and this can keep your friends up to date of where you are and what you are doing without even needing to tell them. The story of a lens being born starts off with a plan. You come up with a great idea, whether that be in your head or you've had a sketch on paper. You would then move over to a drawing or editing tool on an iPad or computer, just like Photoshop, to make your lens. Then you would drop it into Lens Studio, tweak it around and then test it on your phone. Now that's not the end of the lens story, of course you've got to make yourself a lens icon and this will appear on the carousel and also will be the thumbnail for your lens. And then of course you've got the lens preview and this is a small GIF styled video that can just show the user what exactly your lens does and the better you make your preview the more chance somebody's going to click on it. Now you can have a lens without an icon or a preview but it's not recommended as it's not going to stand out from the other lenses. Now anyone can become a Snapchat creator, but you can earn the right to become an official lens creator with the Snapchat Lens Partnership Program. And these Snapchatters make some of the best and fun lenses on the application. If you do get accepted into the partnership program, you do get a verified profile with the Creator Star, which you can store highlights and your own lenses on a special profile kept for the verified. You also get invited to the Snapchat events like the Summit and their own Lens event, which is called the Lens Fest. As an official lens creator, you will get the support from the lens team if anything goes wrong while in the program. They will also give you on-the-fly statistics about your lenses and your stories on the verified profile, and they will offer you some opportunities to make some revenue with your Snapchat lenses if they think you are the one for the job. 
Now, in my first 30 days, I did have access to these lens creators who not only mentored me, but supported me when I got stuck. Now, not everyone's going to have access to lens creators when they need some help. So please check out the online forums, guides, templates, and even YouTube videos that the online community are making. These videos will assist you if you are stuck. Now, today's video won't be complete without actually speaking to a lens creator and asking them what it's like to be a lens creator and some of the inspirations they had. So here comes the exciting part of the video where we get to meet some of the lens creators who do this full time. I've got some questions for them about the lens community and the best parts, but I'll let them introduce themselves first. Hi, my name is Nicholas Dominici and I'm an official Snapchat lens creator. Hi, I'm Phil. Uh, I'm an official lens creator for Snapchat. So my name is Christian Higa. I'm an official lens creator and a producer at KLBC TV2. My first question is, how long have you been a lens creator and what was the origin of you becoming a lens creator and your inspiration to carry on? I became a lens creator about two years ago uh, when Lens Studio came out after I saw someone made a Uganda Knuckles lens, which that was super funny. So I knew I had to, I had to make stuff like that just to you know show all my friends and be, you know, be the cool, funny guy. Um, but eventually I started loving it so much that I built more and more stuff, uh, serious stuff, funny stuff, you know, memes, filters, really anything. Uh, I've been a lens creator since, for over a year now. I think I started the August before this last one. Um, the reason why I started making lenses is I actually got a freelance job doing it. And my background is in 3D modeling and animation. And I, kind of fell in love with the platform, just making lenses. It was like a really nice creative outlet and really a cool way to get immediate feedback from people using it and trying it and, and loving it. That that just kind of, it, it fed my imagination and I was, I was kind of hooked after that. So I became an official lens creator when Lens Studio came out. I downloaded it immediately. It was like an opportunity to create a Snapchat filter everyone's ever dreamed about. So when we open Snapchat, we're always scrolling through filters and we always think of a filter we wish we could have. So that's what Lens Studio's goal was, is to give them an opportunity to make that dream filter. So like my first one, I it was a weird concept is I wanted to look like metal. It's called Metal Illusion. And when I came out with that, it was just so weird that all my friends were sending me my lens going, this is super cool. So that's kind of why I continued making lenses is was seeing that my friends love these uh, effects no one's ever seen before because they were built by me. And slowly I started asking friends and family for ideas. And then from there, I had learned what people like. And then that's how I continued creating lenses. Tell us how long you spend making lenses a week and how many typically you try to push out a week. I make about uh, three to one lenses a week. Uh, sometimes when I'm making a really big lens, I like to focus on that one lens for the week and refine it and make sure it's good. Sometimes I work on simpler lenses that I can kind of bump out more often. Um, I know lens creators that make five lenses a day. Um, they're crazy. I don't know how they do it. But um, yeah, it really depends on how many, uh, what kinds of lenses you make and how complicated they are, which that determines how many you make in a week. For me, it's around three. Yeah, so I, you know, I can make anywhere from five lenses a week if they're simple or just make one that's more complex and more elaborate. But yeah, I, I try to keep a regular schedule of making lenses. It just keeps me in the habit of doing it. And... I don't want to go too long in between each each lens that I make because it it does help keep engagement with uh, your community and your fans if if they see a new lens coming out on a regular basis and they get to try it and interact with it and let you know what they think. So when I make lenses, it could be from you know a silly one minute from a color or like a logo, and it's really simple and easy. And then, so like clients, sometimes when they ch want something changed, it could take up to, I've had one lens take up to a month, but that was due to a client. And then some of my favorite lenses, when the, the colored ones were the post effects, those could take probably I could do in a day, but if I want it perfect, I, it takes me a couple of days because I'll send it to friends, make them try it. And if they don't like the certain skin tone, I'll change it up send it out again because I like to have it perfect when I ship it out. Sometimes I've had lenses where 
they they have so many bugs, but people still love it. And then currently with lenses for the Snapchat spectacles, the new Spectacles 3 that do AR, they take a little longer because you have to capture some test footage to see if they'll actually work every single time. Right now I'm working on one for a huge creator for his spectacles. And I think it took me about a week to make them. And it's like these particles coming out of the ground in the sky. And it was a really neat effect. So it could be short, but it could be long. It just all depends on what your goal is. If your goal is something big, you could, if you're really into it, I know, I know creators that stay up till 3 a.m. to finish that lens. And my final question is, what is your favorite type of lens to make and one of your favorite lenses you've ever made? I really like making uh, face lenses, um, but of course, over time, interests change. More recently, I've been doing sort of retro lenses and stuff, but uh, I think in the overall scope of things, face lenses are my favorite. Um, I'm really proud of this one lens I made um, called Donut Crown. And I'm proud of it because it's the first lens where I made all the 3D assets myself 100%, 100% from scratch. So that was a really proud moment. And that's when I knew that I really wanted to be serious about this. Uh, my favorite type of lenses to make, uh, I've got a particular style I've developed of using uh, uh, everyday objects or food or something like that and put the eyes and the mouth on there and it's kind of like a floating a floating object with a face on it. Those those usually do really well. Uh, my most popular one is Pickle Me, which turns you into a pickle. And that's had over 100 million views on its own, which is crazy. Uh, my favorite lens that I've made is, is the singing $10 bill one. It's called the Alexander Hamilton. And you point it at a $10 bill, and it, uh, Hamilton comes to life and sings the song from the musical. And Snap actually likes to, they like to show that off at conferences and stuff whenever they, they're doing a big speech or presentation or something like that. I, I, I see them show that frequently. So some of my favorite lenses I like to do is playing around with the face. So one of them, for example, is your body is completely upside down, but your face is sitting correctly. Another really funny one is where I can tap on myself. And this one is called Besides Myself. And what it does, it'll, it'll make duplicates of me, almost like freeze frame. And then I can move around it and wave at myself. So I like doing some weird effects like that where you can trick someone's mind, but it's still super weird and trippy. So some of my all-time favorites I love making is the bokeh effect ones where the background's blurred. And yeah, I have this gold bokeh that comes over you like it's a... Uh, nighttime taking a photo with Christmas lights in front of it. So those are my all-time favorites I like making. I'd like to say thank you to Chris, Phil, and Nick for joining me in that interview. They are the Snapchat official lens creators. There are more out there, but those three decided to join me on an interview just to share the experiences about the Snapchat community and what it's like to be a lens creator. I'll leave their Snapchat handles on screen. Don't forget to scan their snap codes to subscribe to them on Snapchat. Not only do they make awesome lenses, but they do keep their stories up to date as well. So if you want some entertaining people on Snapchat stories, you can follow them as well. And that's the end of the video, I'm afraid. The lens documentary is now complete. I'd like to say a massive thank Thank you to our special guests, those lens creators who spared their time to come speak to me about the lens community and what they enjoy about it. And of course, try Angry Outline, the new lens that I created especially for this lens documentary. It was made, you saw how it got raised, and it is now available for you to use on Snapchat. Now, of course, if you don't know who I am, my name is Carl Lightning, and I help you guys out in the Snapchat community make the most of the application. You can subscribe to my channel to keep up with what Snapchat are doing in the community. And of course, like this video if you really enjoyed it. There's a lot of time and effort and people who got involved in this video, and it's exciting to find finally bring you the lens documentary. If you'd like to leave any comments about this documentary, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to become a lens creator and have got some burning questions, leave them in the comment section below as well. And if I can't answer them, I'll find someone in the lens community who will come across and answer any questions that you like. So thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.